ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம வெல்கம் டு ஸ்ரீ ஆரம்ஜின் வித்யாசிரம் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏகலைவா டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அ நியூ டாபிக் மல்டிபிளிகேஷன் சில்ட்ரன் ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி ஃபோர் பாஸ்கெட் லெட்ஸ் கவுண்ட் ஹவு மெனி ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் இன் ஈச் பாஸ்கெட் shall we start yes in the first basket 1 2 we have two fruits in the first basket shall we move on to the second one 1 2 we have two fruits in the second basket now third one 1 2 we have two fruits in the third basket in the fourth basket one two we have two fruits in the fourth basket to get the total number of fruits we add number of fruits in the four baskets that is 2 2 2 plus 2 equal to 8 here we repeatedly added 2 four times so repeated addition is called multiplication i repeat repeated addition is called multiplication now let us see how it is children can you tell me how many baskets we have yes we have four fruit basket this four fruit basket we are considering as groups so four groups in the four basket how many fruits we have yes we have two fruits in each basket so totally how many fruits we got we got eight fruits in all now how we are going to write this one 4 multiplied by 2 equal to 8 this is called multiplication sentence this multiplication sentence we can read it as 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 Four times two is eight, or four twos are eight. Now, let's see with one more example. Children, here you can see three leaves. This three leaves we are going to consider as three groups. In the leaves, how many ladybugs are going to sit? shall we count yes first we'll start with first leaf that is first group 1 2 3 4 five in the first leaf there are five lady bugs now we will move on to the second leaf and shall we start counting 1 2 3 4 5 in the second leaf we have five lady bugs now the final third leaf 1 2 3 4 and 5 there are five lady bugs on third leaf here we are repeatedly adding the number that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 15 this is called addition fact as i said earlier three groups of leaf that is three leaves multiplied by five bugs equal to 15 this is called multiplication fact 
the fifteen is the multiplication fact. Now let's move on to the ways to write the multiplication. There are two ways to write the multiplication. Here you can see the number three multiplied by five equal to fifteen. Here you can see the arrow mark. This is called horizontal multiplication. The same number written in a different order. Three multiplied by five equal to fifteen. Here you can see the arrow mark. This is called vertical multiplication. Either multi vertical multiplication or horizontal multiplication. The answer remains the same. Terms of multiplication. Here we can see some interesting facts of multiplication. Three, we are call it as a multiplicand. The number that is multiplied by another number, it is called multiplicand. Five, we call it as a multiplier. The number. By which another number is multiplied, it's called multiplier. Fifteen we call it as a product. The number obtained by multiplying two numbers is called the product. Now let's see the number line. This is the number line. The number line starts from zero. Look at the arrow. It shows the movement of the numbers the numbers first it starts from 0 0 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 and to 10 to 12 the number on the number line moves from one number to the next number increase the value value of the number that is from left to right for example the number starts from 0 to 2 the value increase to 2 to 4 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 and 10 plus 2 12 when the number moves from left to right it increase the value of the number Now let's look at the order property of multiplication. Look at this dot pattern, children. If you look at this dot pattern, you can see the arrow mark. It shows the horizontal way. That is, three groups of five equal to fifteen, or three multiplied by five equal to fifteen. the same dot pattern if you look at in a vertical way you can see five groups of 3 equal to 15 or five multiplied by 3 equal to 15 so 3 multiplied by 5 equal to 5 multiplied by 3 equal to 15 as i said earlier it may be vertical or horizontal the product remains the same the two numbers can be multiplied in any order the product remains the same this is known as the order property of multiplication i repeat this is known as the order property of multiplication i hope you enjoyed the class thank you children